Hello together. Be welcome to our technical session today. I want to make a demonstration how to create a wood uh, add-in using Visual Studio 2019 in C Sharp. Yes. First, <coughs> to start a development of add-ins, it is important to make a configuration of your wood uh, here to display the add-in in the options here. For that, you have to open the file and go to options. And in the options, we have here the menu. And in the menu, you have to make sure that there is a, the, the add-in is checked here. Yes, before we start the development, before we debug, make sure that the add-in menu bar is activated in the options, word options. Now, let us uh, open Visual Studio. I would like to open a new Visual Studio uh, 2019. We are working with Visual Studio 2019. And here I will create a new project. For this project, we will select then to use uh, Visual Studio template for add-ins. And in that case, in Visual Studio 2019, there is uh, the VSTO is already installed in this. I think in my environment, I'm, I don't remember exactly if I have installed it extra or um, it, if it was uh, already deployed with this version. I mean the VSTO is the library that is relevant to develop um, visual, uh, uh, visual Studio at in sense. <coughs> and now let us see how to create a new project for uh, a new at in project. Yes, in that case, I have to select here a new project, and in the new project, then I need to tap in the in the search box here. World in and it will display here we have the possibility to develop a web add-in or a VSTO add-in in my case I want to develop a VSTO add-in because with the web add-in we are a bit little bit limited on the features that we can use in the web uh, in the, the, the world version in the browser so in with the VSTO this is the, the version where we have the application would install on a computer and on this computer we can then use all the features the functionalities that exist in the application and that we can then automate it using code then i will call this here ff7 add in demo this is a demonstration just for you to see how powerful is it to use here c sharp to create generate a report automatically with uh, C sharp in Word. When the project will then be created, we will see, we will first start the, 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 the debug and see the different options that we have here. Okay, now my uh, project is uh, open and we can see here in the right side in the solution explorer that our project name is here, SF7 at in SF7 is for share for uh, seven. And, uh, and here we have the word, here is the, the, the product, the document we want to, where we have added the add in. Yes, this will be automatically, automatically generated. Now, when at this stage, I start the, um, the application, yes, when we just start here in Visual Studio, then it will pop up the pot you will start a uh, word the application word that is installed on the computer and we will give them here the possibility to decide which document you want to open or if you want to create a new document yes? and inside of this document then the possibility will be offered to decide how to use the add-in and here i decide to create a new document and when i create a new document in this first case because i have not uh, actually decide where the add-in should be uh, placed you see here oh this is an, another application that i have already created i think um yes in this case okay wait a bit okay oh i have realized that i have already another add-in that i have prepared uh, that i developed last time that is already installed you see here on the add-in this is an existing add-in so this is not what I want to demonstrate. So in this case, I want to remove this one. Yes, 
okay for that i have to go here in the files i just want to show how to remove the an existing add-in then i have to go here on options and the option i have to select here add-ins and here i have to select the add-in i want to remove then in my case it called this one because i have created the new one is ff7 add-in demo that is what i want to demonstrate today so but there is an existing one that i would like to remove from my installation then i have to select it and come here and select here you see the name of my add-in you see also the file where it is saved and then we can i can select here the the, the com add-in because this is a com add-in and click on start and you will see here the add-in that are activated in this case i want to remove this then i select i deselect it and click ok now you see that this add-in folder is now removed because my new add-in that i have to add now has actually no menu in it so i close this now here yeah. stop my visual studio so the current state of this add-in sf7 demo i have not add something visible so when i start it there is no place here in this current version that the user will interact with and i have to decide what i want the user to see or if there is an interaction as actually the add-in is empty so for that i have to select now my add-in now i have to select my project sorry and in the project i want to add uh, i want to add a component and here i want to create a new item and for the new item i want to create here i would like to add a ribbon that means i will select here in the list the office sharepoint and select here the ribbon visual design yes we can use an xml but let us focus just on this ribbon design and here i will give the name sf7 um, ribbon yes and click here on ok now it will create a space where the user can interact in the office uh, word application and inside of this uh, area we can decide what are the actions that a user can do now it will create here a, a, a tab a ribbon tab here that i can configure yes that are visual components and there is a space here called group when i select it you see the name here then i can call this here uh, the label that is visible i can call this group here sf7 yes and then the group name is just the group uh, sf7 yes this is you see what the user will see that means all the component we want to add in the ribbon can be grouped in this group yes now in the inside of this group i can then add maybe a button oh what is it wrong okay the group name i can call it group ff7 i think the slide the slash is not um, there was a problem in the name now okay now inside of this group i can now add a button and i can add such a button here that drag and drop now this is a button a new button and for this button the user what should the user see i can then write here for the display the label will be called here sf7 add in i call it sf7 add in and i can also add change the button name here called sf7 add in okay so this button has no interaction that means actually it is just empty yes? when i now run this application we will now have this component in this group that is visible for the end user <coughs> okay the word application start again and i will decide again if i want to create a new document in this case let us create a new document and you see the add-in button is again visible here when i select it you see what i have created i have created a group it's called sf7 and i add here a button called sf7 add-in now when i click on this button nothing happened become because i have not implemented a feature or functionality behind this button now let us add more behind the button that we can do something in the document let us stop here the debug again so now for this button I can just select this button or double click the button and you will see here with 
is that when the user clicks the button, as I double click here to generate now a method, so that when the user click on this button, something happens here. Now, what can I do? Uh, let me use parallel uh, script to make it a bit simple. So the first step that I can do here is just to address the current document where we are. But no, but to start first, when I want to address the word, I there are some there is some uh, library we, that we need here. I have to insert in the top here a library. I call it the the, the word uh, library as yes, to address the different uh, functionalities. Now. For our document, we have here the word document, I call it doc, and most important, I will address here this add-in, the add-in we are in, then call the application and call the active document, because sometimes you can have parallel documents that are open on your desktop, so you want to address the document that is active, where the mouse is in, yeah? so we call the current document, and inside of this current document, something I can also call is, maybe I want to read the name of the current user, that is logged in as if I'm in a current version I can use with this application and call the current username yes and save this current username for example in a string variable here now uh, I can just put uh, set a breakpoint here okay when I start the application I create a word document again okay now in this case i want to make sure that i have had my breakpoint okay here now is my breakpoint and it's my breakpoint to see the value that will be there when i now click the add in and click here on this button you see we come here in our code and see when i press now f10 you see that the value that my document object is filled now with the current document object yes you see the value here it's set now if I press and the, the current user is actually empty and if I if I press again F10 here you see the value of the current user is now set to the current username that we read here okay <coughs> then let me press F5 to stop to, 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 to complete the debug and I will close now Visual Studio uh, the, the, the app and go back to my code now we want to generate content of this word document to make things simple let me just copy a code here and explain it so first step i want to generate create a range yes we have here a range from the document that means at the start of the document at the point at the zero zero i want to add a new table a work work uh, a word table this table will be assigned to this range here to have the position where the table will be created and this table will have five columns and five lines yes and now for this table i want to specify also the font that means we want here to have it in calibre and uh, the size of the text and also if it's bold or not let us say it's not bold yes that is the content the, the, the form the format of the text itself now let us run this once more uh, to, to make it more visible let me add here in this okay if I run this table first then I have to open a word document here and now I can click on add in again And I click on this button now we have created a table but our table actually is empty see in the code we have just created a table we have specified the form but we have not format that means this is now not so visible for the end user now we can also decide on whatever we want to put in this table now to put things in the table let me just um, oh, first let us decide the border of the table that means when I come here now and add specify what are the border of the table i want to close this one again then i add here now the border of the table i select my table here and set the border and decide the inside line style should be the word line style there are specific um, enum values that uh, uh, that we can choose yes in this case i will let you just, uh, just uh, play with the different style to find the right style that you need yes and then we have the outside lines now if i run it again 
I will open my Word document once more. I select the Add In tab. When I click on my button now, you see the table is now created with the forms that we have designed. Now I want to add content in each cell in this table. Yes. Now here I have to identify the column. This cell now is in the first column and the first row. And the second one here is in the second column but the first row. Yes. And that we need our mathematical uh, a reflection algorithm to identify how to put in each of these cells. I want to keep it also here a little bit simple. And um, to keep it simple, let me take a code here that I have prepared. So the first thing is <coughs> we want to add on the first line, yes, the, 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 the caption of the table. We want to add at the uh, at the line zero, the first line, at the first column the text number and then at the first line in the second column the task at the first line and the third column we want to add recipient at the first line and at the fourth column time and so on yes this is the first the header of our table now when we have created the header of the table i want to generate content in the different cells to keep it simple i will just use uh, four Yes, and so I will decide, I know exactly the number of the column I have. I have uh, five lines, so I will go through the five lines and then uh, just uh, select every time the line will, will, will be increased. And I have the five columns, the first, the second, the third, and the fifth, and we can decide which content we want to put there. In this case, I want to add in the first column just the E, the, in the value of E. In the second one, I want to write the name of the current user. In the third one, I want to add the user address, the uh, user initial, and the current version of the application. Yes. Now, when I start it one more, once more. Okay, we are in our Word document again. I have to go to Add In. Now, when I click on the Add In, yes now it will it has created our table in the first column we see the username in the second column should be the user address that means the address is empty in the third column is the user initial and in the fourth column is the application version and the fifth column it's empty because i don't set something there so you can see again in the code we have here all our columns not the version one two three four five why is the version in the fourth color okay so <coughs> just to see to see how we can manipulate so at this step it's all for this uh, first session about office at ins as word at ins in the next video i will show you how to connect now to sharepoint or to excel read information out of a sharepoint list and just display it in an office word document like this one to generate report or to send or to send this document now via email or to export this document in a pdf there are many possibilities that we can have here to make to build simple applications really useful for our daily work and if you have a question about how to create generate or to, to, to generate report with word document reading information out of database and, and, and display it in a word document you can contact us you will see my contact on the bottom of this um, video you can just contact chef for seven yes best thanks for to follow our different videos and uh, yes just give us a like and uh, re register to our uh, session here and it's a pleasure to just share with you the different topic about software development best thanks bye